welcome, welcome everybody. Today is the kind of video that I used to do on my channel. Right now, I'm gonna do the roots. My roots. You see that? All that regrowth? Yeah. That's getting done today. So I stopped by Sally's Beauty Supply and I got a bowl. And a brush. And bleach. And developer. 30 ball. And then toner and then the gray. So this is Color Brilliance Permanent Cream Hair Dye in 7VA. So it's like violet and ash. So V and A stand for it. I'm not sure about the A, but I know V stands for violet. And it's called Chrome. And it is permanent. So that mixed with my purple shampoo should have me looking great for a long fucking time. And then this is a strengthening intensive hair mask for after I'm done all that so sorry if I'm a little red I just got my eyebrows done so yeah and she put some fucking lotion on them so I'm kind of you can kind of see a sheen on my face kind of oily so yeah um let's start all right so I'm gonna take this L'Oreal quick blue where's the little pull tab come on where the fuck oh it says cut I have very sharp teeth, so don't fuck with me. Anyway, I'm just gonna pour this in a little bowl here. <coughs> Be sure to do this in a <coughs> well-ventilated environment. <laughs> Bathroom fans on, so it should be okay. And then 30 volume cream developer. I'm just gonna eyeball this until it's the consistency that I want. You know what, I'm pretty sure I had developer which is kind of embarrassing but that's okay better to have more than too little so right now I'm just mixing it as you can see and I don't want it too thick because then it'll be harder to apply but I don't want it too runny because it'll drip down my face and hurt me so you want it to be like a good paste I think that's okay because I want it to stick to my hair Wowzers. So we're gonna start. I haven't done my roots. Like usually when it gets to like the point where I want to do my roots, I'll just dye it brown because I just don't feel like dealing with it. Last time I did my roots, I was in university and uh, it actually went really well. So I'm gonna hope that this does the same. This is why we can't have nice things. You choose the pumpkin. I'm gonna have to start buying ceramic decor instead of fucking foam or styrofoam or whatever the fuck it is. Okay guys, so I have got the bleach on all my roots and I'm gonna take my hands, my bare fucking hands real quick and just rub it in and then wash my hands off real fast. So that way I know that I got everything. Oh my God, this is so bad. Don't fucking do this, please. Okay, I think we're good. I didn't buy gloves, fuck. I wanted to and I forgot them and I'm just too impatient. I don't have gloves here. Oh my god! Why did I think of that? But on the bright side, I don't think my hand you can kind of see it on this finger. That speckling. The bleach burning your skin. Um, so it's already starting to lift. I don't know if you can see that. It's already starting to lift. Um, and then after this is done, um, I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes and I'm gonna put it on all of my head so I can kind of get rid of the brassiness that's in it. And then I'm gonna tone all of it using Wella T18 Light Sash Blonde. And then I'm gonna put this dye in it. So I will see you guys soon. Okay guys, so I just washed it out and I haven't even looked at it yet. So, oh wow. Well, it feels like shit, but 
um, that's all right. Um, it's a pretty good yellow. Um, I mean, if my hair was healthy right now, I would bleach it again. But this is okay. It's not orange. Definitely not orange. Um, definitely not pale, pale yellow, but it is yellow, so that's okay. Um, anyway, let's move on. Um, let me just, I'm just gonna, okay. We're just gonna blow dry my hair a little bit, a very, very little bit, just so it's not wet, wet. I want it to be damp, but I don't want it to be really wet, and this is so bad. Blow drying right after bleach, that's stupid. But I'm stupid, so here we go. All right, now it is just a little damp, and uh, someone is watching. Oh, you love to watch your dad do his hair. <laughs> She'll just literally sit there and watch me. No matter how long I take, she will sit there and watch me. All right. So, here we go. The, stop fighting. Stop it! Stop! Hey! Hey! They're wrestling. Okay, so I'm gonna use all of this because no matter how tight I put the cap back on, it... Ow. No matter how tight I put the cap back on, I can never ever save developer. So just a note, don't bother buying a lot at a time because it won't last. All right, put some developer in here. That should be good. So right now, it looks like this. And now I'm just gonna, whoop, just gonna mix it up. I forgot, developer smells worse, or toner smells worse than bleach. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this. That's pretty decent consistency. And this, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a little more gloopier, I guess, if that, that's not even a fucking word. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna put this on my hair, and I've never put it on for the full amount of time I, it tells me to, but I am gonna follow all the directions today. So 30 minutes on my head, and let's go. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm using my hands. I don't give a shit. It's just so much easier. It really gets in there. Look at that shit, see, like, Oh, whoo, hurts thighs. But see, I'm already done. See how fast that is? You just use your fucking hands. Once again, this is really bad for your hands. My hands are hurting, probably because I have a cut on it. But anyway. As you can see, it's already starting to turn purple, which is exactly what I want. So it might even have been, oh. <sighs> It might even have been light enough, which is Cindy Lou Hoo Hoo. Anyway, it might even have been light enough, so. God. And I know what some people, what I used to do was, uh, I used to just bleach my hair and then I would put the gray dye over top, but I decided after watching a few other people do it on on the tube that uh, that a lot of people use uh, the developer first just to tone all the all the brassiness out before they put it in the gray because you really want your hair to be as white as possible when you're doing gray because any speckle any little traces of yellow or orange will show through the gray and it's what I call a dingy gray and I, I do not like the dingy gray look. So, <sighs> fuck. I can feel a chemical burn coming on right now. But anyway, all right, so I got the plastic wrap on and we're gonna leave this for 30 minutes and it fucking hurts. So, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. And welcome back, it's been 30 minutes and... Da -na -na -na. 
There we go. So let's wash this out in cold water because holy fuck does it ever hurt. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right guys, so it's all out and as you can see, it's like white, which is beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. So I'm just going to dry this more. And now, I'm not blow drying it this time because that was stupid and I don't see any hairs coming out which is an even better thing. So, let's see what we need to do for this. Alright, I have to fucking mix this. The other one I didn't have to mix. Why do I kind of like it like this? Nope, I did this for the gray, I'm doing the gray. So here we go, puncture. Here we go. And squirt it out. Yeah, just like that, okay. And this only has to stay in for 25 to 30 minutes, 25 to 35 minutes, so. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Come on, out you come. Out you come. There you go. Isn't that weird? Anyway, if this makes my hair go red, I'm gonna fucking lose it. But. And we just have to put in more fucking developers, so my hair is gonna fucking hate me. But the developer activates the dye, so I can see how that works. And mix. You guessed it, I'm gonna use my hands. It is very thick. That's one thing I've noticed. Feels like a very thick conditioner. Ow! Can you get my hands in? Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It's already going gray. Oh, and I can barely fucking see. This is so fucking cool. Wow, this is gonna look good. I hope. I hope. Knock on fucking wood there. Alright, so it's on there. You can kind of see it's already turning gray. And yeah, so I'll be back in about 25 minutes to show you guys the result. So guys, it's all done. I washed it out and this is the final look when it's still wet. So it's gonna be a tad lighter, but I really, really fucking like it. It's like a dark titanium gray, which is exactly what I've been trying to get for so long. Holy fuck. Yeah, so um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if you guys are looking for this kind of gray, this dark titanium gray instead of a sil instead of more of a silver, then please watch this video and just buy what I bought. Uh, it cost me only like 30 bucks to do this, so I mean it's not bad. And I mean if you have long hair, you might have to buy a bit more. But I had lots of toner left over. Um, a bit of dye left over and a bit, quite a bit of bleach left over and that's for like a fairly good length of hair. So I mean if you guys are looking to do something like this, I suggest you do it because life's too fucking short. Do what you want to do and who gives a shit about what anybody thinks. And you know what? I work in an industry where there is a lot of older people that come and I have been getting more compliments on my tattoos and my gray hair from old people than I have from our generation. So just to put that in perspective, do what the hell you want. Talk to you guys later. Like, comment, view, share, follow me everywhere. Love you guys.